In this video, I'll be showing you how to edit your videos using the YouTube Create editing app. And you know I hate long intros, so let's just dive into this video. To get started, click the plus button in the bottom right section, and then add the videos and photos to your project by simply touching on them. Once you've selected all your clips, click the import button, and this will add it to the project. Now to help you get started, I'm just going to be covering the basics of this app so you can get into it and start using and playing around with it. If you want to get into some more advanced features this can offer, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I cover all things content creation. So with that, let's get into the basics. At the top of the screen, you've got your preview screen. In the middle, you've got your timeline where your videos and text will appear. And then on the bottom, you're gonna have all these settings and different things that you can adjust for your video. To trim a video clip, simply click on the video clip and then grab the thick white bar on the edge of it to be able to drag and trim your video clip to where you want. If you ever make a mistake, there is a back button in the top right section that you can click and that'll reverse any action. You can also trim videos by just scrolling through the timeline to the spot where you want your video to begin and then clicking the split button in the bottom section. And then all you have to do is just delete the opening few seconds here where there's nothing going on. You can scroll over to the far right and click delete. And now your video is gonna start where you want. You can do the same with the end too, wherever you want it to end. You can click on the video, click split, and then I can just delete these last few seconds that I don't need. This also works if you want to delete something out of the middle, you can just click on the video, click split, and you can grab the bars or just split again to trim something out of the middle and then click the delete button to delete it. If at any time you want to add more footage to your project, you can always click the plus button right here, right above the video clip. And that'll take you right back into your gallery where you can add more videos and photos. For now, I'm just gonna click the X button. Now you may also notice at the beginning and ending of clips, or if you ever use the split button in between those clips, there's a transition button. If you click on this, you can add transitions to your videos. They got a whole bunch in here. So feel free to explore those and use those in between your video clips. And with the basics of trimming out of the way, let's cover some of the different features that you can use to spice up your videos. When you click on a video, you'll be able to adjust the settings for that specific video clip. So here you'll see filters, which if I click on, I can apply to my video. There's also the effects panel where you can do special effects to your video. Keep in mind that cutout is in here. If you wanna remove the background from your video, you can click this and it'll try and cut you out using software, but you'll also find a few other effects that you can do in here as well. Moving along, you'll find the adjust tab in here, you can adjust your video and kind of color correct it a bit using things like brightness, contrast, highlight, shadows, saturation to make it more colorful. You'll find a whole bunch of different uh, effects in here that you can do to make your videos look better. After that, you'll find the speed option. In here, you'll be able to control the speed and slowdown of your video. Keep on scrolling over, you'll find volume, and this will be able to adjust the loudness of your video, music, or other things. After that, you'll find something called audio cleanup. And this is really interesting and I wanted to demonstrate it in this video. So let me click play just to show you why I want to demonstrate this. This thing is literally driving down the road. It is super loud, so hopefully... And right there, we want to enable the YouTube audio cleanup. So you heard that annoying noise that's annoying if I'm trying to record a video, especially this one right here. So using YouTube's audio cleanup feature, I can click on this, give it a few seconds for the software to go through, and it'll actually remove the background noise from the video. So that way my audio sounds good. So let's see if it did a good job here. Driving down the road, it is super loud. So hopefully, now it is blocked out with YouTube's audio capture feature, but let me know if you can relate to crazy noises happening when you try to record. So I actually did a really good job. You could kind of hear when I was talking, could still hear the high pitchedness of whatever that construction truck was, but it actually did a pretty good job of removing the background noise from the video. So definitely utilize that feature if you are somewhere that's noisy and you want just the audio to focus on your voice. Continuing on, you're gonna find some basic tools here like rotate, replace, rearrange. So if you wanna rearrange the order of your video clips, you can do that right there. You got the delete button and also a duplicate button if you wanna 
copy another video and kind of make multiples of it. And that's video settings. So let's move on to some of the other effects you can do inside the YouTube Create Editor. So simply clicking the back button down here, I am now accessing all the different settings for this project. And on the far left, we'll start, we have overlay. So if we click on this, we can actually add an overlay for our video. So if I just click on this clip, for example, and give it a second, there we go. It is added as an overlay using my finger. I can easily just drag this around the screen. I can pinch to zoom it in and pinch to zoom it out. But now I have an overlay going. And you'll notice on the bottom, all the same effects apply. So if you had an overlay of yourself with a background, you could cut out yourself. So that's a possibility there. And you'll also see an animation button. So if we wanted this to slide on or slide off, we could add an animation. So that way there's a little bit of more professionalism with our edits. If you are gonna add multiple overlays, if you scroll over on the bottom section here, you'll notice the move to front, move to back feature. So that's gonna actually help you rearrange your overlays if you need to. So you have multiple clips and photos and stickers stacked on top of each other. You can control the order to choose what's in front of what and what's supposed to be behind what. So that can be really useful as well. Next, let's talk about text. Just clicking the text button, you'll have the option to just add plain text or a text effect. And these are actually pretty cool. These are pre-designed templates with motion to them that you can add to your title or video, whatever. <laughs> so those are all in there. Um, I'm just gonna go with some plain text to start. So we'll just do here test. And then we can click the style button and be able to style our text. We can choose the size, the font, the color, the background, formatting, the outline and shadow. So you can really customize your text in here to make it look really nice. And then with it selected, you can drag it around the screen to put it wherever you want. You can adjust the duration just by dragging on either side of the text here. And then you also have the option for animation, which if you click this, we can actually allow the text to move around with these transitions. So if we wanna just do something like a slide left, let me click on that. Now the text slides onto screen. So utilize transitions with your text. That can also be a way to make your videos more professional. And you can also choose the start and finish effect. So if you want the effect to slide off, we could do another slide transition as well. Moving on from text, we also have stickers. And in here, they have a whole bunch of pre-built-in stickers that you can use. There's also GIFs that you can add, as well as emojis. So you'll have a whole bunch of fun things that you can add to your video. Once you click on one, it'll add it right in, and then you'll be able to control the size of it as well. So there we go. This is like a motion sticker too. So that's why it like pops on, so I can drag it around, put it anywhere. Pretty cool. Up next on the list, we have sound. And in here, we'll be able to add things like music, and sound effects to our videos. So you're gonna get access to creator music from YouTube in here. So you're gonna find a whole bunch of different uh, soundtracks that are okay to use on YouTube, as well as sound effects. And if we click on this eye here, we can actually see the view usage license uh, that'll tell us what we are allowed to use in our videos. So be sure to review that when you add this music to your project. And the music and sound effects in here is a great place to start if you are on that free budget. But if you are looking to take your videos to the next level, I would recommend getting Epidemic Sound. It's what I've been using for years. It's got the highest quality music that's safe to use in your YouTube videos, TikTok, Instagram, etc. If you wanna try them out, I'll leave a link down below where you can get a 30 day free trial. Uh, it is an affiliate link. Uh, full disclosure, but I would recommend going that route. And you can actually get music from third-party sources. If you go over to your music, what I actually did was through the Epidemic Sound app, downloaded a song. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it would probably work for any third-party music source that you use. I can just cl simply click on this music and here I have it in my project. So yes, you don't have to use YouTube music. You can use third-party music in here. I've got my song added. I can trim it. I can change the volume. I can also do the fade if I want it to fade in and fade out. And there's also find beats. So if I click this, I'm gonna just click find beats. It's going to find the beat points. So that way I can edit my videos to the beats. All right, click done. And here it's showing me on the audio, all the different points where the beat hits. So as long as I line up my different videos with those different beat points, 
my videos are gonna flow pretty well with the music. Moving right along, we have the voiceover button. So we can just hold down our finger on the record uh, and that allows us to record audio as a voiceover over our clips. And then the far right section, we have captions. Hooray, <laughs> captions are here. So all we have to do is click on captions, uh, caption source, which is just the, the video clips that are in there. And then language, we can choose between English, Spanish, and Hindi. I'm gonna go with English for now and then click generate. And then we're just gonna give the YouTube Create app a few seconds to generate those captions. There we go. And now when I start talking, we've got the captions appearing. If I need to edit them, I can click the edit tab and make sure all the words are added correctly uh, or change the word if it didn't get it correctly. And then I also can click style where I can control the size, font, color, background, all the same text settings that you normally see, you can add for your captions. You can also use your finger to drag them around, move them how you'd like. Um, so you do have that option as well. Once your project's complete, simply click the three dots in the top right and then click the export button. And then you can choose the quality you wanna export. We're just gonna click export here. Give it a second to save it. And here we see that your video is downloaded to this phone so you can upload or share it now. Uh, we're just gonna click uh, share. Um, actually, we're just gonna not do anything with it. And now when I go to my gallery, here we go. I've got the video saved on my phone that I can upload to YouTube or technically anywhere if I want. Now, if you are a new creator and you're looking to grow your YouTube channel, get monetized, etc., you'll wanna check out our free newsletter where I send weekly tips to help you get smarter on YouTube and be able to make better content. So be sure to join that and get the tips you need to grow on YouTube, or you can always subscribe and get the videos that I post on here. Either one, I'll see you there.